in this simply asterisk video, I'm laughing because the word cringe attack is like such a good descriptor for this feeling. Um, but anyway, let's talk a little bit about cringe attacks. So I can relate super heavily, right? Because uh, I used to be a emo king and um, I was just the the most emo person and uh, because of that I did a lot of cringeworthy things and um, yeah if I force myself to I can probably have a cringe attack like literally right now now but how do we not have cringe attacks well cringe attacks generally tend to come from situations when you're not really happy with your life right now so if you are having a really good time, right? Like you have all the things that you want, that job, like money and the loving family and everything. Would you really spend a lot of time thinking about your past or would you be more busy kind of like uh, living your life, you know, living your really happy and fulfilling life? You'd be focused on living your life. So as long as you can think of your life in a positive light and you have a good time today, it's kind of a twofer, right? Like you live your good life today and you automatically kind of solve the, you know, cringe attack problem. It's like a two in one. But suppose um, you did kind of overcome everything and you are currently having uh, objectively sort of a good life by lots of measures, but you still keep having cringe attacks. Now, that may be a possibility of you have internalized that experience as a trauma and that needs some examination from the uh, coaching or therapy angle so if it's not that it's more of a mindset issue of looking at your current life as good if it's not you can probably benefit a lot from therapy or coaching